inside the 35. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. That one good for 37 yards. First down, Tampa Bay. Now a first down carry by Jones. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. Jones. Ten yards there and a Buccaneer first down. Make that now two runs in a row that have netted them great results. And it doesn't matter what kind of blocking scheme they're using, gap scheme, power scheme, zone running. They are finding people in those gaps and moving them and creating nice space for their runners. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Brings up second and three. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Working with a second and three. A shotgun give to Fournette. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. A five-yard gain, and now they're set up first and goal. Now I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line, second and goal. Now he'll throw with Brady. This will be caught at about the five. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Tampa Bay. From eight yards out. And the Bucs are going to add on to their lead. And now they'll empty the backfield here as they elect to go for two. Shotgun now for Brady. And this one's caught. And their fourth quarter lead grows by a couple more. He hits the big target for the two-point try. <laughs> Defenses hate those guys, especially around the goal line. It's hard to decide who you're going to put on him. Are you going to put a smaller corner on him? Are you going to put a safety who doesn't have maybe the same coverage skills? How about a linebacker? He may have the size, but he's not used to really covering in space. That's why the tight end gives you such a great advantage when you're throwing the football. Isaiah Rogers on the return. The Colts take over first and 10 at their own 17-yard line. The Indy offense at the line and set to go. And the interception last time on the opponent's side of the field, certainly not what they want. Put it mildly, that is so frustrating because that signifies there's a drive going on. You're in a good spot, great place to run some of your best offense. Instead, they turn the ball over. Yeah, turn the ball over last time. See if they can avoid doing it here. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Got out of the pocket. Didn't look like he had anybody open, Charles, so just gets rid of it. And a good play by him. If no one's open and you don't have a running lane that you want to take, make the right choice. Get rid of it. Live to fight another down. A second down throw for Rivers. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Hines. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. On first and 10, Rivers. Oh, a scrap for the football, and he's going to come down with it. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Great gains back to back. Last time over 30 yards, better than 20 here. Flushed out right. He's going to take off with it. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. The tackle made at the 12-yard line. It's a gain of five. two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Colts in possession of the football as we get your reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. To throw again on second down. Rivers. Incomplete. The surprise second round pick, Sean Bunning, there to get a hand in. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating a defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage, able to knock that one away. Run 80. 
Rivers from the gun on third down. He gets this into the hands of Taylor. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. It's a four-yard pickup, and that's going to make it fourth down. And he won't have the touchdown, but he will have the first down as he's tackled at the two. Well, we kind of looked at each other as they decided to go for it, but in the end, great execution, a six-yard gain, and it all works out. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. And he takes this one in for a Colts touchdown. From six yards away. And the Colts have got it back to a one-score game. I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed. But if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively there, you're probably hoping for a one-to-five play drive. That one ate up a little more time than they were hoping. You're exactly right. And if you have that one-to-five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope. When they had to slog their way downfield, they got the touchdown, but it's almost like... Uh, yeah. yeah, you know, it doesn't feel right. Exactly. And not willing to risk another fumble, he'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And this game not quite in hand yet. We'll likely see all three timeouts defensively and then reassess where we are. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Brings up second and 12. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. They fake the handoff. Now Brady. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off by Julian Blackman. I'm surprised with the lead in a one-score game this late. They're even putting the ball in the air in that situation. It almost makes me feel like the head coach might be second-guessing himself by not clicking on and saying, all we're doing is running it here. But give credit to the guys on defense. They made a play that they absolutely had to have to give themselves a chance to be in this game. His throw caught right around the six. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the five at the six. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. Rivers going to give this one to Taylor. And yes, he's into the end zone. So they get the late score they needed. And now the extra point can tie this thing up in the final minute. And while it appears the heavy lifting was accomplished by scoring the touchdown, they're still down one. That extra point is not a gimme. Good. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. Rigoberto Sanchez to kick off for Indianapolis. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kick's away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And with time a factor here late, he'll just take a knee and they'll put it out to the 25. offense set to begin their next possession. They'd like to avoid overtime here, so maybe they can work the sidelines, but then defensively, how do they adjust to that if they do work the sideline? It's the old leverage game, and we usually talk about leverage at the line of scrimmage, right? Who's going to win with the low blocking and everything that goes along with that, but in this case, you're trying as a defender. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off near the 44. And the possession is theirs at their own 43-yard line. So how about that for a momentum switch? We're in the fourth quarter, and it's a tie game. You've got to take care of the football here. Now their opportunity to take the lead right out the window, and everything is flipped in the other direction. Following the interception here, Rivers. And this is going to be intercepted. Carlton Davis picks it. Intercepted by the 
Buccaneers. They'll take over first and 10 at their own 43-yard line. The Bucs offense set to begin their next possession. They can still get into field goal range, partner. They got to work quickly, though. I agree with you totally. Find a way to get the ball downfield and out of bounds. In a perfect world, they know what hash they want to get to for their kicker, and they already know the distance that he feels comfortable. That'll dictate what they do on offense. See if they can get in his range. Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. Airing this one out for Evans. That'll be incomplete with nine seconds now showing on the clock. Incomplete. It's second down and ten. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. Brady to throw. Letting one go deep here for Gronk. And that is incomplete. Two seconds left on the clock. Gronkowski the intended target. And it's third down. Third down. An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. Now Brady. And this is caught. It's pulled in by Gronkowski. And he is going to have a box first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And here in overtime, if the team that receives the ball scores a touchdown, it's over. If they don't, we can still have some more football. That's exactly right. If they go down and kick a field goal, the other team gets a possession to either match it or score a touchdown to win the ball game. If both teams kick field goals, the next team to score wins. But if the receiving team throws a pick six or fumbles the ball and gets picked up by the defense and they score, the game is over at that point. Take it's it over. in the end zone. It's over. Let's dominate. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. The Colts take over first and 10. At their own the Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. They control their own destiny here. They have the football in overtime. Obviously, a touchdown would win it. And I think teams around the league are still adjusting to the idea of going downfield, scoring a touchdown, wins the game because they were used to just going downfield and trying to get in field goal range to win a game. Still having to make that transition. Let's face it now. The ones who are doing it best know they need to go down, attack, put the ball in the end zone, and not leave it up to a field goal and give the other team a chance. And as we said, they control their own destiny now. At the 39-yard line. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. From the shotgun, it's Rivers. They'll find Taylor, that's complete. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. Offensively, back-to-back -back really nice plays. This defense, they've got two timeouts, maybe should burn one. Yeah, when you get back-to-back -back explosive plays, to me, anything over 10 yards, I don't care if it's a run or a pass, I count it as an explosive play. They set your defense back on its heels. A timeout here would be a good idea and try and get themselves settled because we're an OT. This is big time. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. Back to Taylor on first down. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Second and 10. At the 20. Throwing on second down. Rivers. That's into the hands of Pascal. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it with an eyelash. Dropped at the one. It'll go as a gain of 25 on a play that started back at the 25. They'll come out in the pistol. They'll look to run with Taylor. And he's into the end zone for the touchdown and the game winner in OT. Partner, a great game that we got to see and making it extra. Partner, Charles Davis and all the hard work.